This is the new 2018 Volkswagen Amarok V6. 190 kilowatts and up to 580 newton meters. Today we're going to be testing it against over two tons of fishing news boat. Think of a powerful torquey ute for towing and the Volkswagen Amarok V6 often tops the list. Amongst the four and five cylinder dual cab utes, the V6 version of the Amarok is king. And with a recent update for 2018 to 190 kilowatts and 580 newton meters, there's even more to be happy about. Volkswagen's 3.0-litre turbo diesel V6 also features an overboost function that, in certain gears and at certain speeds, provides an overboost up to 200 kilowatts, designed to make the task of overtaking while towing that little bit easier. But for a refresher with the VW, we took a current 550 newton metre, 165 kilowatt Amarok V6, and loaded it up with a decently large piece of equipment from our friends at NZ Fishing News magazine. They supplied us with their own Extreme Boat 745 Game King, a 7.45 metre aluminium with twin 115 Mercury four-stroke engines. All up weights around three tonne, which is a real test for the Amarok. Talking towing limits for a moment, the Amarok has different limits depending if it's a four-cylinder or the V6, and also whether it's fitted with a no-cost heavy-duty spring package. Standard is a two plus one leaf spring, which our red V6 Amarok was fitted with, which allows the maximum tow rating of 3.5 tonne. There's also a 3 plus 2 heavy duty leaf spring which drops the rating to 3 tonne. Setting off from Auckland with boat and trailer, the Amarok's clearly working harder, but with the same smoothness and relatively effortless acceleration. It's a large unit we're towing at 8.4 metres long, but moving along rapidly is an easy task, and despite the bulk we're dragging, the V6 barely raises a sweat and surges up in the incline. We head east from Auckland, through Botany, up and down hills and through some winding roads that rarely gives the engine a rest. Certainly no 90k cruise control on the motorway for this trip. As we pass through the final twists, climbs and descent into Kawakawa Bay, the 8-speed gearbox ensures the engine's always in its power band and never is there a time where the driver has to actually think about towing. It makes the whole trip so much easier and less stressful about holding up other traffic, negotiating hills or feeling like the ute's straining. In fact, more than a few times mid-conversation, a glance into the mirror gives a subtle subconscious shock and reminder that we're actually towing something. Amarok reveals only two issues worth considering. Fuel use has jumped considerably from about 8.9 litres per hundred of unladen driving up to 18.5 litres per hundred, which is understandable given the non-stop work it's endured over the past hour or so. Plus, we haven't been particularly frugal with the Volkswagen tank of diesel either. The ride quality also changes. Unladen, the Amarok V6 is superbly supple. It's probably best in class, partly thanks to its standard spring package. The Amarok has always been considered king of the kids, and especially with a V6 version. The previous 165 kilowatts has now been up to 190, and we've got torque ratings from 550 to 580 newton meters on overburst. When towing, ride comfort does suffer a little and proves a little bouncy, though no more than some of its rivals. And we'd happily trade off a little bounce when towing if it means the superb ride quality when unhitched. Mercedes-Benz X-Class V6 is due in December 2018 and it threatened to claim the title of fastest year, but Volkswagen has upped the game again. Previous 0-100 was 7.9 seconds. Mercedes-Benz dropped that time a few tenths, but Volkswagen has duly responded down to 7.3 seconds for the 0100 for this new model. We arrive at the Kawakawa Bay boat ramp, a stunning concrete four lane, all tide, all weather ramp with a pontoon and fixed jetty with wraparound breakaway. Sadly, there's no time to launch today, so we reverse in and notice the large 12.95 metre turning circle. Unladen, the V6 Amarok does 0 to 60 k's an hour in 3.2 seconds, which is 9 tenths faster than the class leading Colorado. 0 to 100 k's an hour is 7.7 seconds, which is not just 2 tenths faster than Volkswagen's claim, it's 2.5 seconds faster than Colorado. 
Interestingly, the gearbox's sport mode makes a big difference to response while towing, but also its shift speed and eagerness through the gears. For the return load back to Auckland, we reset the fuel consumption meter for a more relaxed motorway drive on cruise control, and we see fuel use drop to a more reasonable 16.5 litres per 100 k's an hour, which is about the same as its key rivals, weight for weight. So whether it's fishing boats, horse floats, caravans, or even work gear, is there a better boat towing double cab ute than the 165 kilowatt 550 newton meter V6 Amarok? Well, yes, I suppose there is the 190 kilowatt 580 newton meter V6 Amarok, but that is a test for another day. <laughs>